In this video, I am going to explain what is test time scaling in the context of AI models in a simple hands-on fashion. This is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Also, if by the end of video, I am unable to answer in as simple way as possible that what exactly is test time scaling, I will return your money. So this is a money back guarantee video. So what exactly is test time scaling? In very, very simple words, when an AI model spends more time thinking about the answer to your prompt using more infant steps, it, it is called as test time scaling. Using more inference steps, using more reasoning chains or iterative processes within the same computational setup is what model performs during test time scaling. It is not about throwing more GPUs at the problem during inference which would be hardware scaling. Instead, it's about the model doing more sequential processing steps, more deliberation or more internal reasoning before producing its final answer. Let me show you a quick example. So this is my text generation web UI where already I have one model running which is primarily seed coder 8 billion reasoning model which I already have covered on the channel from Byte Dance and I am serving it with the help of this VLLM so you can see here and if you want to learn about this model just search on my channel but let me show you test time scaling in action. I have just given it this prompt to create me a complete self-contained HTML file that displays realistic fireworks. So let me run this and now instead of giving me the answer straight away, this model is going to spend considerable time. And when I say considerable time, in my previous iteration, it took around 50 minutes to answer. During that 50 minutes, what model did? model generated and evaluated multiple possible solutions internally. Then it went through multiple rounds of self-correction and refinement. And then it broke down this complex problem into various steps and then sub steps and then more sub steps. And then it went through a chain of thought very, very thoroughly. As you can already see that model is coming up with an idea. It is checking it and then either it is refining or improving it or just simply discarding it. So not only one, but it also goes through multiple scenarios, but in a sequential way. So instead of giving you an answer straight up, it is spending more time thinking. And that is what test time scaling is all about. We are scaling the amount of computation performed during inference or testing, but through longer sequential processing, processing rather than parallel hardware scaling. Now, this approach of scaling up computational resources during inference or in other words, test time rather than just during training is called as test time scaling. So what happens is that initially we take our humongous amount of training data and then we create or start training this neural network or AI model from scratch. This is called as training time where we train or pre-train the base model and that is where we throw a lot of resources on this model. We spend as much time, as much iteration as we could, but it is not really about hardware resources. Is It is about how much time is spent during uh, training. So you can say that um, until now, the main idea behind producing a better, bigger AI model was to have more time in training, more iterations. So that is called as training time um, scaling. So the longer you spend in training the model, the better it becomes. The same idea is being applied to test time or inference time. So instead of just giving the answer back immediately, the key idea is that we can improve model performance by using more compute at inference time. For example, by having the model think longer about a problem, generating multiple candidate solutions and select the best one or use more sophisticated reasoning processes when actually solving tasks. And you can see it in real time as I'm speaking. This is what 
this model is doing. And this is in contrast with the traditional scaling paradigm that, focus, uh, that focuses primarily on making models larger, which means more parameters, or training them on more data, as I mentioned earlier. Test time scaling or inference time scaling allows you to get better performance from the same underlying model by investing more computation when it's actually being used. And if you want more examples, so few of the concrete examples could include having model generate multiple reasoning chains and picking the most consistent answer or allowing the model to revise and refine their output through multiple passes. And there are a lot of models out there uh, similar to this like DeepSeek and every major lab is now producing reasoning and these sort of uh, inference time scale model. And this paradigm is quite significant because it offers a different path to improve AI capabilities that doesn't necessarily require training even larger models. Let me also talk a bit more about the technical challenges. And But before that, let me introduce you to our sponsors of the video. One is Camel AI. So Camel um, is a very interesting project. Camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws with applications in data generation, task automation, and world simulation. And you will find their link in the video's description. Also, the VRAM required for this model is given by Mast Compute. If you're also looking to rent a GPU or VM or CPU on very, very affordable price, you can find the link to their website in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50% for a range of GPUs. So allow me to spend a few seconds on the technical challenges and infra requirements for it. Uh, and I'll just go down here because it is still thinking, as you can see, as I have been talking for the last seven or eight minutes. So uh, this all comes through the reinforcement learning, by the way. And this test time scaling paradigm is driving significant improvements in AI reasoning models with systems becoming both more capable and cost effective. And this approach primarily uses reinforcement learning to enable models to generate chain of thought reasoning and maintain coherence over longer periods transforming them from simple chatbots into sophisticated planning agents. This progress is particularly strong in domains with verifiable rewards like coding and math, where clear success metrics like, um, you know, which makes RL training more straightforward. Models can now perform complex multi-step tasks involving tool use, calculations, and even extended reasoning sequences, just like the one you're watching on your screen. RL or reinforcement learning implementation faces significant infrastructure challenges because uh, being extremely inference heavy due to the need for multiple rollouts where models generate numerous candidate solutions per question before selecting the best approach. And there are a lot of uh, popular algorithms, especially the one which came into the light due to the deep seek, the group relative policy optimization or GRPO which is older than DeepSeek's V3, by the way, it requires generating anywhere from a few to hundred of attempts per problem, which really makes the process computationally demanding. The biggest bottleneck include engineering robust environments that can handle extended agent interactions, defining appropriate reward functions, especially for non-verifiable domains like writing and preventing reward hacking to um, where model exploit loopholes rather than genuinely solving problems. So companies are also or labs are also addressing non-verifiable domains by using other LLMs as judges with detailed rubrics. Uh, though this approach remains more volatile in my humble opinion. Anyway, I think I'm going too deep now. Let me quickly show you the VRAM consumption too for the fun of it. So it is consuming. I have 48 GB of VRAM by the way, courtesy mass compute, but it is just using close to 19 gig of VRAM. The VRAM not, is not an issue. It is just that we have scaled the time so that the model would think more. And as I said earlier, this particular model from DeepSeek, uh, sorry, Byte Dance, this thinks for like 50 minutes or so. And I already have covered this model in detail with its architecture and stuff. Let me quickly show you its web page, uh, Hugging Face page too. So this is the model which I am using, by the way. 
and as i said i already have done it a uh, detailed video on it so look pretty interesting as you can see i hope that now you understand what exactly is test time scaling but if you still don't know uh, and you think that i was unable to explain it to you let me know how much you paid and i will return your money thanks for watching if you like the content please like and share the video if you have already subscribed thank you if you haven't please do so as it helps a lot thanks